Hello and welcome to Krishi Jagran Business Platform that keeps you updated with all the agri news of the nation. This is Yash Saxena. Let's take a quick look at the top headlines of the day. PM Modi to inaugurate Global Millets Conference tomorrow in Den. The 49th Dairy Industry Conference and Expo hosted by IDA begins in Gandhinagar. Dr. Mansukh Mandavia flags off 75 trucks for countrywide awareness drive to eliminate TB. FCI sells 3.37 metric tons of wheat in open market since February 1. eCoffee Mahindra Solarize partners for rooftop solar financing and installation. Ayush Ministry and Ministry of Rural Development signs MOU for scaling of rural youth and empowering women. Over 30,000 crore loans sanctioned to women entrepreneurs till date, says Bhagwat Karar. Assam government allocates 100 crore rupees for tea industry, plans to celebrate 200 years of Assam tea, says Finance Minister Ajanta Neog. Andhra Pradesh government allocates 7,220 crore rupees for agriculture and elite sector. Now, the news in detail. Prime Minister Modi will inaugurate the Global Minutes Conference tomorrow. The event will take place at Pusa in New Delhi. Also, the PM will address the August gathering of agri industry experts from various countries at the EAP. In line with the Prime Minister's vision to make the celebrations of International Year of Millets 2023 a people's movement and position India as the global hub for millets, this two-day international conference will have sessions on all critical issues related to millets, like promotion and awareness of millets among producers, consumers and other stakeholders, millet value chain development, etc. The 49th Dairy Industry Conference and Expo organized by the Indian Dairy Association in Gujarat was inaugurated by Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying Parshottam Rupala in Gandhinagar. After a successful first day, the second day aims to be bigger and grander with industry experts giving their valuable thoughts to the participants on the topics. How the dairy industry could improve production, innovations in the dairy industry and the challenges the industry faces. The three-day conference and exhibition aims to showcase the latest technologies in milk production, processing, storage and packaging solutions. Also, awards will be given to individuals and organizations for their contribution to the growth of the dairy industry. R.S. Sodi, President of the Indian Dairy Association, stated, Being the $10 billion Indian dairy industry, the Dairy Industry Conference is the biggest conference. India has come a long way from being a milk deficit nation to becoming the largest milk producing nation in the world. The event was also attended by the Union Minister of State of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar Balyan, Niti Aayog member Prof. Ramesh Chand, Gujarat's Cooperation Minister Jagdish Vishwakarma and many other national and international industry experts. Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia flagged off 75 trucks carrying TB awareness messages across the country. While addressing the media at the Partnership for Act Against Tuberculosis event in New Delhi yesterday, he praised corporates, NGOs, political leaders and individuals for becoming Nikshay Mitra and contributing to TB Free India. He stated that 71,000 Nikshay Mitras are currently supporting over 10 lakh TB patients through nutritional assistance and other means. Dr. Mandavia also distributed nutritional baskets to TB patients at the event as part of the Pradhan Mantri TB Mukta Bharat Abhiyan. The Food Corporation of India in its sixth e-auction sold 4,91,000 tons of wheat to private bulk buyers, bringing the total grains sold in the open market this year to 3.37 metric tons. The sale has had a significant impact on the price of wheat and atta throughout the country, which is likely to remain stable with the future tenders for the open sale of wheat, the Food Ministry said in a statement on Thursday. The government allows FCI to sell food grains, particularly wheat and rice, at predetermined prices in the open market to bulk consumers and private traders on a regular basis under the open market sale policy. The goal is to increase supply during the lean season and moderate prices. 
the agriculture ministry's forecast of record wheat harvest of 112.18 metric tons for the 2022 to 23 crop year has boosted the government's procurement drive for the next marketing season which begins on april 1st Mahindra Solar Rise has partnered with Ecopay and NBFC to provide rooftop solar financing and installation in the retail sector. This partnership is intended to facilitate collateral free loans for solar rooftop installations in order to accelerate green adoption. Concerning the impact, the CEOs of both companies believe it will significantly reduce electricity cost when compared to the average bill. The solar rooftop installation should reduce monthly electricity cost of homes and businesses by about 70% said Rakesh Singh, CEO and Executive Director of Mahindra Solar Rise. The Ministries of Ayush and Rural Development signed an MOU to team up in developing skilled personnel for the Ayush healthcare system by training rural poor youth and women under the Deen Dayal Upadhyay Grameen Kaushalya Yojana. The MOU was signed in the presence of Union Minister of Ayush Sarvananda Sonawal and Union Minister of Panchayati Raj and Rural Development Giriraj Singh. Minister of State for Ayush Dr. Manjipara Mahindra Bhai and other senior officials from the ministries were also present. Speaking about this team up in his address, Sarvananda Sonwal said, Both the ministries will collaborate in boosting the spirit of self employment. This will allow rural youth and women to be empowered. This MOU will bring landmark in empowering women's self help groups and rural poor youth. The initial goal is to train a large number of women, which will be increased in the future. We will prioritize self help groups, said Giriraj Singh. The government's Stand Up India scheme, which provides credit to women and SCST entrepreneurs, has sanctioned 1.75 lakh loans totaling to 39,517 crore rupees as of February. According to the data shared by Bhagwat Karal, Minister of State in the Finance Ministry, in a written response to a question in the Lok Sabha, 80% of total loans amounting to 32,000 crore rupees, that is 81% of the total amount, were sanctioned to women entrepreneurs. The scheme allows the scheduled commercial banks to make loans ranging from Rs 10 lakh 1 crore to at least 1 SC or ST borrower and 1 women borrower per bank branch for the establishment of a greenfield enterprise in the manufacturing services or trading sectors as well as activities related to agriculture. The Assam government allocates 100 crore rupees for the Assam Tea Industries Special Incentive Scheme in this year's budget. Also, State's Finance Minister Ajanta Neog announced a plan to hold roadshows in major cities across the country and abroad to promote Assam Tea as brand to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the Assam Tea. While presenting the state budget for the fiscal year 2023-24 in the Assam Assembly, she also highlighted the importance of tea cultivation for the economy of the state and said that the tea industry has been the backbone of Assam's economy. And the Pradesh Legislative Assembly grants 2023-24 budgets for the agriculture and light sectors with a total investment of approximately 41,000 crore rupees including 7,222 crore rupees for agriculture and allied sectors. Kakani Govardhan Reddy, State's Minister of Agriculture and Cooperation, said that this was the second largest allocation of 11,000 crore rupees, followed by 7,220 crore rupees towards the expenditure of assistance to farmers in the DBT mode to meet the crop cultivation. Expenses under the YSR Bharosa PM Kisan scheme. During the financial year 2022-23, Govardhan Reddy marked the growth of the agriculture and light sector at 13.18% marginally up from the previous year and affirmed that they were more than the national average. So, this was all about the news. For more updates on Agri News, stay tuned with Krishi Jagran Business. This is Yash Saksena, signing off.